Chris Cassidy here. I wanted to congratulate you on your 43 year career as a news channel anchor, amazing. I remember in 1988 when I graduated high school and you became the anchor there at Channel 6. Those years have gone by quickly, but uh, Maine's proud of you and I'm glad to be uh, one of those Mainers who has watched you along the way. Congratulations, Pat. As a fellow space enthusiast, you have been helping enrich the lives of Mainers for decades now, and we appreciate all of the news you have provided us. I'm sure that some of your space shuttle coverage was part of the reason that I was inspired to be an astronaut and set off on this journey of my own. Congratulations, thank you for all that you have given the great state of Maine and the best of luck in all of your future pursuits. NASA astronaut Jessica Meir, signing off. Very nice. Oh, I'm tearing up. You're the stoic guy <laughs> I'm just over thrilled. here. Just, I think it's great. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> All this week, we will be looking back at some of the most memorable stories told by Pat, who is retiring Friday. And of course, nothing was more memorable than being on the air live from Florida when the space shuttle Challenger was destroyed in an explosion shortly after launch, killing the crew of seven people, including teacher in space Krista McAuliffe. I revisited this tale many times over the years from various points of view. This story was on the 25th anniversary of the disaster when we caught up once again with one of Maine's finalists in the Teacher in Space program, Gordon Corbett, who was there with us at the Kennedy Space Center on that fateful day. On January 28, 1986, the moment finally arrived. Corbett was one of the few teachers who hadn't left Florida and returned to the classroom. We have main engine start. And the thing that I didn't know is that you would feel it as much as you would see it and hear it. Because uh, the reverberations and the concussion and all that from those engines hit your clothing. Your clothing begins to move and you can feel it and they're on their way. puff of smoke and you could see the flame inside it. It was an orange bowl. Obviously a major malfunction. I talked with a visibly shaken Corbett right after we witnessed the disaster. I still can't believe it's happened. And, and this was something that's been so much hype and so much excitement and so much interest in and then it's over. It was suggested that the teacher in space program was largely a PR gimmick, a ploy to boost waning interest in the space program. And Corbett agrees there is some truth to that. I don't think any teacher has ever been more ready. But Krista McAuliffe was savvy enough to use the program herself to promote teaching. And we don't see our influence until later on, until people are the engineers who are doing the problem solving down in NASA, because we did critical thinking in the ninth and in 10th grade with them. So I'm really hoping that more people People look at education more positively. Get involved. Go into the schools. Let it go. Cool. There. Look at that. Okay. All right. All was not lost. Corbett returned to his students in the Armouth Public Schools. That star was 1,500 light years. And later began working with homeschoolers and other groups, teaching kids to grab on to new ideas. The kids that I had back then and the kids I teach today, they still have that curiosity and all you got to do is just get that curiosity going flick the switch and I have no idea what they're gonna do but many of them are gonna do something significant and, and worthwhile and you'll be hearing about them someday Krista McAuliffe's motto was I touch the future I teach that's a sentiment still embraced by Gordon Corbett and so many like him every day and Gordon Corbett passed away two years ago, having touched the future by teaching countless Maine students. And on the 10th anniversary of the disaster in 1996, Krista McCullough's mother, Grace Corrigan, told me that despite the tragic ending, Krista had accomplished her mission too, by inspiring others to become teachers with her enthusiasm and spirit.